Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about January 24 feature drop for Pixel devices and this is the first time to get a feature drop in January and also separate from the system update itself. It's more related to Google Apps but anyways let me show you what's new. Before starting let me tell you that Samsung and Google are now collaborating with each other like never before and some of Google's AI services are now part of One UI 6.1 on the S24 models. And in this video I'm going to show you some of the features in this feature drop on my S24 Ultra because I didn't get them on the 8 Pro just yet. The first and most exciting feature is called Circle to Search which I already have on my S24 Ultra and it's going to be released to the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro models on the 31st of January. So let's take a look at how it works. To activate the feature tap and hold on the bar at the bottom if you use the gesture navigation or the home button if you use the three buttons navigation. It will first give you an animation then it will show a google bar at the bottom where you can access google app, google voice search or google lens. But you can right away search for something on your screen by tapping on it like this. You can also use the circle gesture. And finally, you can scribble like this. So this will help you a lot in doing things like copying text immediately from whatever you see on the screen or identify products and things. So for example, I'm playing a video over here and if I want to identify anything on the screen, I need to get the right frame, pause and then activate the feature, draw a circle and here you go, I'm getting the results. You can do the same for products and items. Let's say I want to search for this case. I can do this. And it will get me the results right away. The second feature is called Magic Compose for Google Messages, which I have on my 8 Pro. So let me show you how it works. When you open a conversation, you will see this pencil with a star next to it. You first need to paste or write your message and then tap on the button. The AI will try to rewrite the message in different styles and ways. So here I have the first tab called Remix and this one includes multiple styles from the other options. But if you want to be specific, you can jump to each tab separately. You have Shakespeare, you have Excited, Formal, Chill, Lyrical and finally Short. This feature is available on the Pixel 6 models and later, but if you have the 8 Pro specifically, it will work on device with the help of Gemini Nano, but all other models will do the processing online. The third feature is also part of Google Messages and it's called Photomoji. It will allow you to create stickers out of your photos and use them to react to messages. To access the feature, you have a couple of ways, either to tap and hold on any message and then you'll find the create button, or you can tap on the emoji button over here and you will find it on the top right corner. Then you need to select the photo you want. I will take this one. It will take a couple of seconds to crop the subject from the photo and then tap on send. It will send it right away. If you want to re-access your photo emoji, you can also tap on the emoji button and you will see a separate tab for all your photo emojis over here. Or you can also add it as a quick shortcut to your reactions by tapping and holding, then tap the plus button, choose the photo emoji and use it as a reaction. You can create and save up to 30 stickers and if you want to delete any, just to go to your photo emoji gallery and then tap and hold, then it will give you the option to delete. Google didn't mention that this feature is exclusive to certain devices, but it can work on any device running Android 8 or later. Change number four, nearby share is now quick share. Yes, it uses Samsung branding, which is another collaboration between the two companies and later down the road, it will be the case on all Android devices. So you will no longer see quick share and nearby share on your Samsung devices, but now you can use quick share with all devices across the board, even if it's Samsung or not. I already have this new change on my S24 Ultra. So let me try to send myself any photo like this one, for example. And when I tap on quick share, now I can see my pixel devices, my PC. And when I tap on any of them, it will immediately share the photo like this. 
And as per Google's blog post, the feature page will be redesigned to match Samsung's own implementation. You will first see the device name, then your devices, then the nearby devices, which is exactly the same shown here in the screenshot. And by the way, this feature works on Android devices running Android 6.0 and later, Chromebooks running Chrome OS version 91 plus, and computers running a 64-bit version of Windows 10 plus, and ARM devices are not supported. Change number five, the audio switch feature of the Pixel Buds Pro now works with the Pixel Watch. As an example, I have it connected to my Pixel Watch, same as my S24 Ultra, and let's say I'm playing some music on the watch, and then I decided to continue playing music from my phone, the switch will happen seamlessly without the need to do any manual connection between the two devices. And also, if you are listening to music from the watch and you got a call on your phone, the same seamless switch will happen, which is a nice feature. The last change is related to the thermometer app on the Pixel 8 Pro. And now you have the ability to take temperature readings for humans, not only objects like before, with the ability to save these readings to your Fitbit profile. And as per the screenshot, you can save up to seven days worth of readings. But unfortunately, this feature only works in the US for now. And I'm not sure if Google will expand the availability in the future. So that's everything new on the software side. But Google also released a brand new color for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro called Mint. In my opinion, it looks really nice. And Google nailed it this year when it comes to the colors. On top of this, you can get the case only if you already bought your Pixel 8 or 8 Pro, if you want to give your phone a fresh new look. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in January 24 feature drop. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.